to welcome all of you here today. Today marks a milestone for the university, for the region, for the partnership, for an economic trajectory for this area. President John F. Kennedy once said, we are tied to the ocean. And when we go back to the sea, whether it is to sail or to watch it, we are going back from whence we came. From commercial fishing to coastal tourism, marine engineering and offshore wind, this region is unequivocally tied to the ocean. This region is once ready again to harness its coastal assets to propel sustained economic development relating to marine science and technology. The work that this initiative advances, workforce training, research and innovation, and branding of the region will help return the region to an era of economic prosperity. Today's milestones wouldn't be possible but for the leadership of Chancellor Johnson and Congressman Keating and Congressman Kennedy and the Federal Economic Development Administration. <coughs> Although the EDA's Massachusetts Regional Representative could not be here today, Deborah Bevan uh, sends her congratulations from the agency. We also have Jeffrey Walker, Donald Sullivan, uh, Sandy Kanati, uh, Christy Sanatori, and Leslie Richardson from our regional planning agencies, SERPED and the Cape Cod Commission, who are partners on this uh, larger regional plan. I'd also like to acknowledge many of the uh, executive board members of the South Coast Development Partnership. We have the Fall River in New Bedford, South Coast and Bristol chambers represented here today. We have the WIPs represented here today. Uh, we have numerous members of our business community. It is now my honor to introduce Chancellor Robert E. Johnson to discuss his bold vision for this region and the future of this project. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Oh, come on, this is about the region. Good afternoon, everyone. That's it's more like it. First of all, uh, let me say that um, one of the reasons why we are here today to celebrate uh, this grant uh, is because of the leadership of a fine young man uh, in Hugh Dunn, uh, who shepherded the whole process uh, of this project, the grant application, uh, getting the letters of support, uh, writing and cajoling and uh, helping us to figure out a way to make this happen. So please join me in giving Hugh Dunn a big round of applause. So I want to welcome you to UMass Dartmouth, where we provide a private college educational experience and a public university value. Uh, and in case you haven't heard, we sit here on 710 acres of land, 15 minutes from the ocean, Congressman, and a half an hour from the Cape. Uh, this is an, ex an exciting time. Uh, just about five months ago, uh, UMass Dartmouth, uh, in partnership with the Council on Competitiveness, gathered right here uh, in this room with about 100 civic and academic leaders uh, from the region and beyond to discuss the blue economy possibilities for the South Coast and Southeastern Massachusetts. That day, we came together to jumpstart the development of the blue economy corridor. Today, today we come together to celebrate a $600,000 grant from the U.S. Department of Commerce's Economic Development Agency. Uh, this extraordinary investment was made possible uh, by, the, uh, by the advocacy of the South Coast Development Partnership and the exemplary leadership of Congressman Bill Keating and Congressman uh, Joe Kennedy. Give them a hand. This region is rich in assets uh, along the Blue Economy Corridor, running along Interstate 195 from Rhode Island to the Cape. 
As you can see on the image behind me, uh, this corridor includes the nation's number one fishing fleet and supporting industries, an emerging, an emerging offshore wind industry, international recognized coastal tourist attractions, multiple marine tech companies, valuable business, cultural, and academic connections uh, just beyond the region in Rhode Island and on Cape Cod. At the center, UMass Dartmouth, a tier one national research university. Uh, from my first conversations with Congressman Keating and Kennedy, it was clear that they understood and embraced the opportunity to build the blue economy and the quality of life here through a bold strategic regional approach. The opportunities are immense. A recent report by National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration indicated that the ocean related economy employs 3.2 million people, more than crop production, telecommunications, and building construction combined and the stakes are high. The average median family income in New Bedford and Fall River, where most South Coast citizens live, is about half of the state average of $70,000. The unemployment rate is chronically higher than the state average, and the educational attainment level is lower. We have a moral obligation to confront the economic reality, which is what brings us together today. To fully develop the blue corridor, the blue economy corridor, ensuring that a rising tide lifts all boats. The business and civic community through the South Coast Development Partnership has rallied to this idea of making the development of the blue economy corridor a reality. Our two congressmen have been stalwart supporters of this initiative, and make no mistake about it, uh, they have made it clear to me that UMass Dartmouth needs to demonstrate leadership. Congressman Keating, Congressman Kennedy, you have my commitment and the university's commitment to make a difference and to build this corridor in ways the world has never seen. We recognize our duty to create economic opportunity in this region through education and research, collaboration and innovation. We choose to make this announcement here on our main campus to highlight, to highlight the interdisciplinary uh, excellence that we are bringing to the table. Our College of Engineering, our College, Charlton College of Business, the School for Marine Science and Technology in New Bedford, our Center for Innovation and Entrepreneurship in uh, Fall River, just to name a few. Around the room, you can see some of the products of UMass Dartmouth Innovation, from underwater robots to ocean modeling systems to video fish and stock assessments. And right now, we need underwater robots giving the wave that is heading towards the East Coast with the hurricane right now. Success will depend on our ability as a university and a community to demonstrate unprecedented uh, collaboration across institutional, political, and geographical boundaries. I believe we are up to the challenge. It all comes down to this, a real belief that now is the time for us to start coming together to stop competing for a single 12 inch pie and build a, an 18 inch pie so that all of us can be well fed. There's more than enough to go around. Together on this day, we celebrate the beginning of a new day for this region. So Congressman Keating and Congressman Kennedy, you can count on us. Thank you all for being here. And at this time, I'd like to bring up uh, a gentleman, when I first met him and we started talking about the future of work, uh, he took it to places I had never imagined. Uh, he is uh, world-renowned. 
And as the saying goes, the greater the man, the shorter the introduction, Congressman Keating. <laughs>